Hello friends, Matt here. I am here to take a look at a new disc and compare it to a not so new disc. So a lot of times when new discs come out, they tend to get compared to either one of the best known discs in the category or a very popular one. And I got a feeling that this is a comparison that is about to be made a lot. So I want you to take a look at the profile of these two discs side by side. As you can see, they're both very blunt mid-ranges. The one on bottom has a very pronounced bead. The one on top, a very small, hardly perceptible bead. You can kind of see it if I get it in the light a little bit. The wings are very similar. The diameters, near identical. In fact, they may be almost exactly identical. And what I have here are two discs from different companies. We have the brand new Prodigy MX1 in their 500 plastic. It's a really pretty blend. Got the Knob North Open tournament stamp there. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's got some like swirly hatch marks and uh, like lava burst type stuff going on in the outer rim. And the one I'm going to be comparing it to is the Dynamic Disc Fusion Justice. I picked the Fusion because the Fusion is the closest to 500 plastic and should be similar stability wise. Also, this is one that I have not thrown. So they're both similar plastic. They're both very pretty purple discs. They both have tournament stamps and, uh, well, they're both purple. I kind of like purple, uh, but they should in theory fly very similar. The numbers are both I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's something like 5304. They're both in that ballpark. They should both be very overstable. You know, go straight and then fade super hard, be good for skip shots, that type of thing. I bag a Justice. I bag uh, the, actually the DD Open Justices from uh, earlier this year. They are actually, they should be more overstable than the Fusion one. They're... Uh, Moonshine Air Plastic, but they came out like almost concave. So this one has a pretty flat top, but not concave. And then the MX-1 is basically perfectly flat. Like there's some like inference of dome, but not really. So I haven't thrown either one of these yet. These exact discs, thrown Justices for years, but I've not thrown MX-1 at all. Let's take them out to the course and see what we think. Okay, so I'm out in the field, throwing the MX-1 into a massive headwind, kind of a little one-step flat forehand. It goes pretty nice, about 300 straight. Uh, turns a little bit. The Justice here just laughs at that headwind and hooks up going about 270. Trying a harder line, but with a little bit of hyzer. The MX-1 likes this one into the headwind. It still turns, but it goes much straighter. And the Justice goes a pretty good way, but it still gets a lot of hard late fade. Down to the tailwind side of the field, get a little air bounce with the MX-1 there. That was one of the better throws with it. And that same flat, slightly anhyzer line, the Justice crushes. That was my longest throw of the day, around 360 feet. On the power anhyzer line, the MX-1 goes pretty well and eventually pulls out of it, but turns a lot. The Justice rides the line a long time and actually fights all the way out into a little bit of fade. Okay, guys, so... After throwing them around a little bit, I think I am under the impression, at least this run of the, the 500 MX-1, while it is a great overstable mid-range, it's not the same type of brutally overstable mid-range as the Justice. Uh, the Justice is just very, very overstable. It hooked up hard, even into that heavy headwind that was making the MX-1 drift a good bit. I do think, however, that it could it could be a very good overstable mid-range for the masses. So if you're not like a really hard forehand player, primarily throw backhands, it uh, it feels great. Feels great, looks great, and I really enjoy a lot of things about it. I could make this work, uh, but I don't feel like it's as overstable as I would want in like the most extreme of situations. So ripping 20 mile an hour headwind like we had today, this one's gonna hold up a little bit better. Uh, most conditions for most people, the MX-1 actually might work out better. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. Hope to see you in the next one.